Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. So you want to just give your mushrooms a good rinse here, and then let them drip dry in a strainer for a few minutes. Then you want to chop up a few cloves of garlic, chop up some fresh parsley, really fine. And you want to take a whole onion and chop this up into nice thick slices. Then just add some olive oil to a hot pan. Then unload the mushrooms. Now over medium high heat you want to just give these a good toss and make sure that olive oil gets mixed in thoroughly. Then add your onions and just spread those out as well. And then add your garlic. Again just stir this in thoroughly. Give it a few tosses and make sure that it's mixed in real good. Now you want to add some beef broth or vegetable broth. Even Aji works great. Now we just want them to steam a bit in that bath. So we're going to add the lid and cook for 5 to 10 minutes. Now waiting for that I've cooked some garlic bread. You might like your mushroom and onions as a side dish or over a steak, but I'm going to show you what I like to do with it here in a minute. Once the steaming's done here, we're going to come back and add a few more ingredients. At this point everything should have softened up quite a bit. The onions are real loose and those mushrooms should be just about cooked all the way through. So now we want to go ahead and add that chopped parsley. Now there's two recipes that I've got that this reminds me of. One is my stuffed portobello mushrooms, which is just amazing. The other is my French onion soup, and that has five different onions mixed into that, so you definitely don't want to miss that at the end of this video. But now is a good time to taste our broth. At this point you want to decide and determine how much salt and pepper you want to add to this dish. And you want to just do that to taste. Again you want to just get that mixed in evenly. Make sure it's to your liking. But there's one more step and that's adding a tablespoon of butter. That's just going to help thicken up and sweeten the sauce just a little bit more. And at this point you're ready to serve. That is if all you're looking for is something to serve as a side dish or over your steak. But let me show you what I like to do with these mushrooms. Just lay down some toasted garlic bread, get you a big old scoop of our goods, and just lay that right over the top of that. Push it around a little bit if you have to. Hey. It can't be perfect all the time. Now just come right over the top of that with a slice of Swiss cheese and take it straight to the oven. I just throw it under a high broil for about three minutes and when it comes out I just hit the top of it with a little bit of that chopped parsley. So you can make it for yourself and have it look like this or you can make an entire casserole dish and make it like this. And there you have it, garlic, mushrooms, and onions, right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.